Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stockings and only four people in my family. So you're wondering why on earth do you have nine stockings here? Well, I took a look at my mantle with my four stockings, which were four needlepoint stockings, all exactly the same size, spread out across the mantle, and they just look so lonely. I thought, I can do better than that, and so I tried to do better. I grabbed the two uh, needlepoint stockings that were most important, the Nutcracker my son loved, and the Santa my daughter's had 20 years. So. Notice that they're in the reds, the greens, the creams, and I went to my um, fabric basket and pulled out all my reds, greens, creams, neutral tones, and thought, I'm going to start putting together some of my own stockings. And here's what I came up with. I had so much fun. This pretty fabric, um, nice cream, looks great with the toile. And notice I did the special little scallop at the bottom, and then I embellished it with the pretty tassels at the end. This next one, this pretty bright green velvet, went out to the store for this one in particular and got some additional little trims. The, the um, Christmas trees with the beads and the red just really are striking on this stocking. Then of course, next to it, my pretty little um, nutcracker. Then I did something in a neutral. This window pane fabric is lovely. This is a fleece, so you just want to cuddle up to it. And I took one of my snowflake ornaments and added it to give it a little bit more dimension and pizzazz. Next to that, this fabulous red velvet with the sequin snowflakes, you know, add some shine and sparkle. Touched it up here at the top with a little bit of lace trim that I had. I had one more of those tassels, so this seemed perfect for this. The plaid was kind of neat. It added a combination of colors, the green, the red, the cream, some of the neutral, pulling everything together. And I found a pretty silk ribbon, too, that I added up along the top. My Santa needlepoint blends beautifully with everything. And then to tie it all together, this time reuse the toile but on the stocking portion. And then I reuse the little piece of the velvet with the sequins that I had left over for the top to it, add a little ornament. And then I ended on a neutral with that window pane fabric again, so tying things together again, only this time instead of using it as a regular check, I put it on the diamond design. Now you may notice that they're all kind of puffy, like they already have all kinds of goodies inside. That looks better than seeing them kind of limp and hanging. Well, it's not full of goodies actually, it's full of old grocery bags, and this is, you know how Matt's recycling all the time? Well this is my recycling, I didn't throw them away. They're stuffing for my stockings <laughs> until the packages arrive, of course. And, you know, I have a funny little story about this. Everyone was in love with their stocking. Mom, what are you doing making all these others? Well, when it came time for Christmas Eve, everyone decided, I think I want Santa to fill this stocking for me. And we know why, right? twice as big as the needlepoint stocking. So we had a lot of fun with them. I had a blast adding all the details, and I know you will too. Now check around. I've put a project sheet on here that explains how to create your own stockings. Happy holidays.